Oh, the FFC emotes have been updated. Oh yeah, all your right, FFC emotes. emotes. Should just had to follow LCC so we can use the never give up. I'm going for Benkei skip. Nah, it's okay. We got we got data face. That's all we need. That's true. Should be on stream now, guys. Oh, yeah, nice. Nice. Well, welcome to stream. Welcome to Goemon, aka Goemon64, aka GoGo's Bizarre Adventure. GoGo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> Let him go, dude. Hoya hoya. Alright, well, I'm ready to get started whenever. Just, uh, close one. Alright, give me one second. Should be good to go in about. I don't know, half a minute or so. I'm gonna crop this quick. Sounds good to me. Oh, dude, it updated. Never give oh, up. Oh, wow. Got him. What to do? That meme died out somehow. Lucky, can you try talking quick? I'm talking now. Yes, oh, yeah. hello, hello. Hello, hello. Talking. Okay. Audio is fine. Perfect. I think we are ready to rock when you're ready to go. I'm, I'm always ready to go. Alright. Okay. So give me a countdown and we'll start this thing. Sounds good to me. Alright, so this game uses power on timing, but I'm on yield flashcards, so I'm going to do it from a menu. Uh, as I reach over to reset my N64. So I'm just going to do it from the flash drive menu. So I'm going to count you down right now in three, two, one, Goemon! Goemon. Alright, this is Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. Not going to use controller pack, we're too good for that. But um, if I do, uh, something terrible goes wrong, I will load a backup save. That's how I'm going to handle this. Yeah, a lot of ways to soft block in this game, like a lot. A lot. There's ladders can soft block you, doors can soft block you. I can just a go lot out of things. bounds incorrectly. It's yeah, it's great. That's tough. Very marathon friendly game, but it's all right. We'll make it work. So first trick right here, you'll see a lot in this run is uh, wall pumping. Whenever going on or any other character runs at the wall, it's a little bit faster than just running. Here's the first real trick. I don't know what it's called. We're gonna jump into a sign. Sign jump. Sign jump. And we did it, now we're on top of the world. And that yep. skips like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, because you don't need to get the chain pipe, which is like a hook shot. Well, let's take into Odeo Castle. I'm just gonna walk over there on um, the sky. Optionally, you can actually swing your pipe to get more horizontal distance, but you know, it doesn't really matter that much. And now we're heading to the first dungeon in the game, Odeo Castle. <laughs> And yeah, that whole sign jump thing skipped an entire section of the game where you climb the mountain, Mount Fuji, yeah. which you might know from Japan. Because this game takes place in Japan. Mythical Japan, where every piece of war is accurate. Yeah, the very first thing is, of course, farming. For, uh, I, don't, I don't know how long this takes, like three minutes or something? Uh, I think also you want to be done in like three minutes, 20 seconds on the timer. But yeah, this is uh, everyone's favorite part. So you have to grind for money, because you need 1100 Rio. Uh, to complete the game, because you need to buy a quality cucumber for 800 Rio, and you need to talk to a witch on top of a mountain for 300 Rio. But throughout the course of the game, you actually need a little bit more than that. You need some spending money, as it were, because you're also going to be throwing Rio, which costs real money, and you use that to get over gaps and do a few other things. Yeah, you end up collecting like a bunch randomly, just earn some downtime and from enemies that you have to kill along the way. So. Goal just do this many. Grind is to get to like uh, mid uh, 1050 or so. Mid 1000, is pretty much. It's actually a lot harder than it looks. I know it looks like I'm just like jumping into the pod and swinging my pipe. But... Yeah, you gotta have the spacing down and the timing, for sure. It's, uh, it's not easy. It takes some getting used to. Also, you notice that whenever I'm uh, going through a door, I'm jumping. That's because if you don't jump, then uh, your character like walks a little bit forward on his own. And sometimes you don't want to be going that direction, so you can cancel with the jump. Yeah, the money uh, that Goemon uses, like you can throw it, so you're kind of hovering over things like holes and stuff, which you also would normally need the chain pipe for, because the chain pipe is like a hook shot from Zelda. Pretty much everything in this game was stolen by Zelda. Yeah, pretty much. It came out before it was all Ocarina of Time, and yet yeah, it has very many similar similarities. It really makes you think. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Goemon did it first. Goemon did it first, dude. 
Choking at the end. Choking at the end. Wow. Wow. I blew it. I blew it so hard. That's gonna be enough money. That's fine. Alright, done grinding. Oh. All right. Warning shot. No, it was not introduced in Link to the Past. It was introduced in Doimon. I've never heard of that game. Sounds bad. Bad game. Doimon 64 right here. First game to ever do anything. The very first video game ever made, actually. Fun fact. Mm-hmm. Alright. This wasn't released until the 90s, but it was actually the first one ever made. First kill all room coming up here. The kill all rooms in this game are pretty cool. Enemies uh, spawn in fixed spots. So you can just uh, plan your strats accordingly. So this game is obviously pretty glitch heavy, but you do have to play a fair amount of the game, get most of the keys. Even though it looks like you might be able to skip them, you can't really, because uh, there's a glitch that'll be shown off later on that'll let you skip many things, but if you use it, it'll softlock the game in some spots. But long story short, we're going to be getting some keys and playing this dungeon somewhat natural route. Just without the chain pipe. It's actually not a kill all, this is a kill five room. You just gotta kill five enemies. You have your choice of tiles, uh, those dudes at the beginning. Yeah, the funny thing is the tiles stop spawning eventually. So if you don't kill them, uh, you're out of luck. Yeah, you have to respawn to re redo the room. That's what happened to me. I couldn't figure out the room at all, and then I had to re reload the damn thing. Also, enemies can drop one of two things. They can either drop the food, or they can drop the Rio, and it's random what they drop. I obviously want the Rio, except in a few spots where we'll want health. That was a wacky room, but it was good. Pretty much I want all Rio drops until like one room in uh, the second dungeon where I want uh, health drops to do a death warp. See right here, you see those blocks, uh, you're supposed to use the, ch the chain pipe, aka the hook shot to get over the gaps, so you can just Rio hover right over. It's great. Not Nazi symbols. No, it was, uh, good luck symbols, right? Yeah, it was a sign of peace from oh, ancient peace. Asia, or whatever. Those are not there, by the way, in the English version. Yeah, they no didn't li really like that very much. Not a fan of good luck, I guess. Peace. No. They're all about skill in America, not uh, RNG grinds, so... Makes sense. Yeah. Where could the B key be in this room? Oh, it's on top of the crushers. It's hard one to figure out, I think, if you're playing casually. Now we're getting to the uh, the meat of Odeo Castle here. You don't have to do this trick, I don't think it saves like much time at all, but this is like a one-frame jump to get up here. I did it, dude! Nice. Yeah, you gotta release A at the peak of your jump, and it gives you a little bit of extra height, which is nice. This game runs at 30 FPS, I believe, so everything's like 1 in 30 kind of timing, bring frame perfect stuff. Wow, and I got first try a uh, chain pipe skip. Oh, that's actually really hard, that's, so good job. That is that's good. good. Hardest trick in Odea right there. You have to uh, time your jump so that the metal orb like boosts you up. It's actually a faster way to do it than the way I did it, but that way is most consistent for me. Because that is the one area you can't uh, skip by just Rio hovering. You have to do that D-boost. Full health right here. Nice and free money. Skip the compass. Also invented by this game. Yep. Oh yeah, the, the music in this game, I think this is probably my favorite soundtrack on the N64. I think I agree with you, actually. Old words. I get this trick as well. I think I understand why this trick fails sometimes. Yeah. So we're gonna skip this text, get inside this guy, and hold left, and mash A for a visual cue. You're supposed to watch this cutscene, it tells you about uh, what's going on. Yeah, it's like a camera trick. You, I forget exactly how you do it. It's like yeah, you, you run to... forward, then you zoom in, then you zoom out, and then Goemon can move anywhere, and then you're not locked in place. Now you can fight the first boss, which is uh, Kongo. 
There's actually a lot of ways to fight this guy. I'm gonna be doing a somewhat fast method, but not the absolute fastest. The optimal way to do this guy is to just have him rotate and you hit him as he's rotating. That's really hard, so we're just gonna try and hit him as he's turning around and skip these laser cycles. It's gonna be really tough with the Stardust guy. Might be possible. Skip the first laser cycle. You want to skip the laser cycles because he's invulnerable when he's starting up his lasers. Let's see right here, I can't even hurt him. Uh -oh. I'm gonna get this time. Yeah, that's what it looks like if you don't get it. It only saves a few seconds, though. Got him. Bosses in this game are actually pretty cool, with like one exception. They all have like a small amount of tech to them. Yeah, they're simple, but not simple at the same time. What am I going on? There he is. Let's have an adventure. Um, I can reward you with a quick donation. Oh yeah, go for it. If I may. R Rambling Josh threw us five dollars. Naturally, he says, "Own oh, mom, hail Satan." Hail of Satan. course. Hail Satan. I guess we should talk a little bit about the story of this game. Uh, you play as going on is Mary Band of Ninjas trying to save Japan from a uh, theater troupe from outer space that's here to turn Japan into a Western show because Japan should be for the Japanese, and we just saved uh, the King of Odeo, I think, or something. And also, Goemon's go girlfriend is maybe around somewhere. I don't know. Oh, we just got the Super Pass, which is a very good item, because it lets us get to the next area. And, and thus ends Oedo Castle. That is it, yes. The other cool thing about the music in this game is that all the dungeons have multiple sections to them, so you're getting uh, kind of like a kind of like a Sonic Act 1 style music at the beginning, like a little bit lower key. And it picks up as you go through the dungeon gradually, so it's really cool in that respect. Alright, here is one of the biggest glitches in the game, which is map glitch. It's a very complicated glitch. First you hold C right on the controller. And that's, and that's it. it. That's the entire glitch. And then you let go when you want the actors to appear. And that unloads everything. It reduces lag, lets you bypass areas. It despawns all enemies. It's one of the coolest glitches in the game. I wonder why you don't just do that everywhere. Well, if you do it everywhere, uh, then sometimes your game will softlock. Yeah, and this room in particular, if you if you actually do it here, when you go through the door, it will just freeze. Nothing happens. Yeah, most of the time it's just doors freeze and that's it. Your game is done. So it's just routed that you just know which rooms do and don't do that. Yeah, so. it's just a room by room basis. It's not like it's actually random. And yeah, this will be used to skip the first impact fight coming up. Oh, I didn't get a jump. And another big thing about the movement in this game is the slopes don't like working very well. The slopes are really weird. You have to like jump in the direction of the slope or else it like slows you down. Yeah, most of the time you're just going to be running on them. Uh, you can jump up them if you like jump as soon as you touch the ground. I just went 3 for 3 on Rio drops, dude. Always lucky. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, yeah, this is the uh, place where you hold map glitch the longest. I'm holding down C right right now. Probably doesn't look like it, but I have to hold this down for like a good solid minute, because if I don't, then I have to do a optional, well, not optional, but supposed to be required boss fight, which is the first impact fight. But mm -hmm. I'm not yeah. Do don't worry though, we'll get a couple impact fights in the run. They're, uh, they're definitely happening. Also, I believe this glitch is Japanese exclusive as well. You cannot do this on the English version. Yes, that's right. I think the English version has a couple random glitches that are exclusive to it, but it's just not really familiar. Yeah, I think you can, like, uh, skip some more rooms in uh, the third dungeon. But yeah, this game's great. You should definitely play it. I fully endorse this video game. Same, dude. I play this game as a wee child. 
renting it from Blockbuster, and I had fond memories of it. And I didn't play it for like 15 years. And I did Blind Race with LCC, and I was like, wow, this game's awesome. And that's why yeah, I, I, I played it this year, so. LCC was completely blind until then. Completely blind. You just keep running in that wall, going on. Keep running in that wall. There's a house that burned down. Uh, there's a cutscene that explains what's going on, but we're gonna skip it. We'll talk more about it later, I think. Oh yeah, it's also going on speedrun tradition to uh, change your items and beat with the music. Which is why you just see me uh, randomly swapping items from time to time. It doesn't actually do anything, but it, it sounds cool. So I'm swinging his pipe to get up that little ledge. He can kind of get up ledges quickly by doing that. Yeah, it like cancels Not much the else grab to it. animation. Alright, now we're going to recruit our third character, Lady EA, the female ninja, the Kunoichi. She's pretty cool because she will get a flute later on that lets us work from place to place. But I don't want to talk about the Kunoichi. I want to talk about the next trick coming up, which is the legendary Benkei Skip, the hardest trick in the run, unironically. Easily. Easily, yeah. So what I'm going to have to do is, uh, there's going to be a ladder there. I'm going to have to like grind into the ladder, and then I'm going to have to like tilt my stick uh, in the precise manner while also doing a one-frame input. Now, if I do it properly, I'll like zip across the screen and I'll be like stuck on the other side of the map. And I'm just gonna jump up and walk into the door and then I'll skip Benkei, which is really good because Benkei is a garden. If you uh, try and do it naturally, you have to do this like mini game where you catch fish. And then I think you do another mini game and then it gives you a robot. It's really complicated and long. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna try and skip them. Yep. Incorrect this versions of the trick, I'll just be like on top of the ladder, like swinging my pipe like an idiot. I also might fall into the sun. I also might fall into the cutscene where you talk to Benkei. It's pretty epic. Hopefully we're not here for two. Yeah. If we this are. can take anywhere from one try to about 50. So strap in. Ah, oh, I thought that was it, dude. I was like almost so oh, high. Now instead we're gonna fall in that, the sun though. That, yeah, that was close. Right into the sun. And away we go. Away we go. Yeah, we might be here for a while. Hopefully LCC prepared some fan fiction. Uh, no, I was lazy. Wow. Yeah, if you really love ladders, this is the stream yeah, for you, you right now. You'll love this game. Ladders are the source of everything. Like, you can clip up ladders like that, then you use your slash to turn that momentum horizontally so you can go through the wall. You can use ladders to fly around space. I can play like, I don't know, like Superman 64, except this game's so way better. I did it first. Went into um, the cutscene that time. Ooh. Close though. You can also stop time with ladders. Yeah, we'll be seeing that later on. And you can soft lock the game in a couple different ways with ladders. So, ladders kinda. It's the name of the game. Into the sun again, dude. When that happens, it's because I pretty sure I didn't get the right angle or I didn't flick my stick correctly. Who knows? I'm not a, I'm not a go on scientist. Mm. I just have to fall in the sun over and over. I know you said like mashing the button helps a little bit for preventing that, but yeah, it's like that's partially only... that, partially the angle. I don't know. It's only if you get the right angle to begin with. All right, oh, baby. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you got it. Nice. Okay, okay. I don't want to celebrate too early because I have walked back into Benkei, like the text, and then he just puts you back on the bridge. And it's like the most embarrassing thing ever. Like you get it, and then oh, I have to do it again. That was uh, not bad though. Looks like we're going to be underestimated, so that's good. Yeah, that was perfectly fine. That was completely expected. See, so yeah, I get a little extra distance with the, the coin hovering there. And here you're hovering. just map glitching only to reduce lag. Doesn't do anything else. Looks like there's nothing here, but uh, uh, uh. There's a rock here all this time. And we're gonna warp to uh, an area we can just get to normally. But it's a little bit faster to do it this way. The intended route is to go through a bamboo forest. But, um. You can do it like this instead. Close here. I almost forgot a uh, safety strat. So it's because I'm going to be doing some death warps in the second dungeon this game, I'm going to be grabbing an extra life. So that way um, I have a little bit of leniency in case I mess it up. And you don't want to do this because obviously it's slower and also you have to let go of map glitch. And you can see just how laggy the game is. Oh my god. Want. Yeah, I know. This is great. Holy. Just, uh... I Sorry. did not realize how laggy the spot got. Sorry. The human eye can only see five frames That's per second. That's so dumb. 
I won't get there eventually. Well, anyway, we're gonna get, we're gonna go into Symmetra's teleporter, which will teleport us straight into, of course, Hanzo's all. Yeah, we gotta stop him from getting play of the game. I believe this is where the first tech skip is, which saves like eight seconds if you get it. Uh, eight? That's what? More, way more than eight seconds for this one. More, more than eight? Yeah. Okay. This is uh, the tech skip that saves the second most amount of time. I believe uh, the final one saves the most. This is yeah, I think like, the final one's like 20 seconds or something. Yeah, this is like 15 or so. That's think. still quite a bit, yeah. Never actually I thought it was less than that. Cause I'm a fraud. Actually, like really low on health because I fell into the sun so many times, but that's okay. Apparently, it is a haha. -ha. So there. I want I want some hard numbers on that. Uh, I don't think I got it. Close though. I don't think I've ever actually gotten this in a run. The worst is when you pause twice and you still don't get it, though. That's what happened to my PB. Yeah, so, these are all frame perfect, so they're not easy. What do you have to do to do the skip? Uh, just pause the game, that's all. Yep. Pause on pause. Press at the start on the frame. right frame. I love doing that. I'm a big fan of doing that in video games. It's another game I play where you have to do that. I forget what it's called, though. Mm, here's that AGDQ. I heard that as well. In fact, I heard we're raising money to bring the runner who runs that game to AGDQ. Of course, talk about Kirby Superstar. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, this boss is bad. Like, there's yeah. no tech at all. He just you <laughs> not much more to say. You hit him, and then uh, you wait, and you hit him again. And if he somehow hits you, which is pretty unlikely, but it's happened to me, then you'll like spin off the dragon uncontrollably, and you fall off, and you have to do the entire thing again. You are a Look at him go, though. Spin to win. And yeah, it's very awkward because the camera is constantly shifting in here. Can't really aim that well, so if you get a little bit close, then back off, and get close and back off. And I believe all these are randomly shot at you. Yeah, I have no idea. But it's alright, we defeated Hanzo's Spirit Dragon, stopped him from getting play of the game, and we're gonna crash land back into Japan. So he does he so knows all these random glitches that we know. <laughs> God, oh, yeah. you can double KO and lose your HUD, okay. I like I don't know anything about this game even though I'm running it right now. Like I've only been <laughs> playing it for like two months. I'm just a huge fraud. But what That's else fine. Alright, it turns out the dragon was but a small child who got transformed into a dragon. I hate it when that happens, but we saved him, I think. Yeah, he kidnapped all the children because the uh, the dancing gang or whatever decided they wanted to kidnap all the children and make them dance. Yeah, become part of their troop or something. Yeah, that sounds that sounds real. But yeah, we're legendary heroes, so we saved him. Also, you notice this game has a built-in laugh track. It's pretty good. So even though you can't understand the story here, you can you know follow along by uh, what the audience in in game is uh, doing. Yeah, you know when to laugh. Just type in a bunch of W's in chat whenever you hear the laugh track, you're good to go. No problem. Walla walla. Walla walla. And yeah, you could do a text skip here too, right? But it skips the flute, which you yeah. kind of want. So... It's good for low flute, percent, flute's, but... uh, flute's the ochre arena. It lets you uh, quick travel places, and uh, this game did it first, not looking fast. And the flute's a very good item, saves a lot of time throughout the course of the run. And the guy says he can give it to either Bissamaru or Ye, because they can both play the flute. He's like, I'll give it to Ye, because Bissamaru is not as cool. This game really doesn't take itself seriously at all in the story, if you've ever actually uh, played it and understand yeah, it. Yeah, it's pretty lighthearted, so it's, it's made for children, right? So it's like, you know, you don't have to take it too seriously. And yeah, he went back into town, through that door, and went back through it again. That, that sets a teleport point, so when you get to the top of this mountain, he can teleport right back down. 
And here, this is a somewhat challenging section if you are not using Mac Glitch, because like boulders falling on you, and it's really laggy, and there's a ton of enemies, but thanks to the power of Mac Glitch, we can just uh, climb these stairs in peace. And we're going up here to get the fire area, which is required for the next dungeon. It also makes a few bosses a little bit faster, but yeah, it's a mandatory item. Yes, we're going to climb the thousand steps to the top. Make a small donation of 5 Rio. Then get 5 yeah. Rio. If you donate 5 Rio to JRTA3, you too can get fire. Fire Rio. That you can throw. I mean, we, we wouldn't lie to you. Alright, well, this place is boring. Let's warp out. And don't play with fire, please. Your fire's dangerous. There's a bit of tech to the map as well. You can actually plink in this game, which is essentially doubling your inputs by pressing two different buttons. So you uh, press left and I think C up or something, or C left? I forget. And you basically go left twice immediately within a frame of each other. So it's pretty handy for getting places fast. All right, now we're going to another area because uh, we have to go to the hot springs. That's where the next miracle item is. It's kind of the goal of uh, this game is to get four miracle items so we can go uh, in the final area and beat up the final guy. And the second miracle item is in the hot springs, of course. But before that, we're going to stop time. Yeah, one of the, one of the coolest chicken tricks in the game. Well, it gets used once, but you know. It's not called Gogo's Bizarre Adventure for nothing. So here's a ladder, here's the flute. Press uh, Z as you're activating the flute. And voila, Zawardo. Time is Yeah, you're, you're canceling the flute animation by pressing Z onto the ladder, and then that just stops time anyway, you know? You just go about your business. It mostly saves time via less lag. In fact, yeah, I think if there wasn't any lag, it would actually be slower to do that. Yeah, I but. timed the difference. It's like one second faster to do that trick compared to just doing the bridge naturally. Because uh, normally that bridge like falls down, and then uh, you have to like actually think about your platforming a little bit. But thanks to the power of time stop, we don't have to worry about that. We're gonna talk to this guy because he's a story trigger. He tells us that we can't get to the hot springs unless we know how to get small. And there's someone in Zaz in town that could help us, so let's go back there. Ah, failed point. You really do not want to go to the wrong place in the map. Yeah, it wastes like 30 seconds. Look at how time. long look at how long this dragon takes. Look at just look at him. He takes forever. You have to sit through this twice if you go to the wrong spot. So even though you can do things on the map quickly like that, you want to be doubly sure that you're actually visually seeing the right place before you actually click the button. Alright, the person who can help us get small is uh, this guy. So this guy is actually um, the fisherman you talk to if you don't skip Benkei. He tells you how to catch fish and whatnot. Apparently he also doubles as a uh, dwarf in his spare time. And he can teach us the power of becoming small, which is probably the most powerful trick you can be, you can employ in this game. Yeah, aside from ladders, becoming small and becoming large is uh, going to get you places. So let's you go out of bounds to skip a lot. Like, it's going to be used throughout the run constantly to get to skip triggers and skip uh, going to different rooms that are normally required. And taking a lot of shortcuts in general, like it just lets you go places. So it is, however, also very difficult, and we'll kind of go over that as we get a little closer to it. Yes, but, but first for now, we have to do a mini game, which is uh, yeah. 
very uh, luck based. Probably the biggest source of RNG in the game. Not that this game has much RNG to begin with. Although slides sometimes do feel like RNG. It did. Oh. Yeah. I almost. Oh, I'm getting owned! <laughs> he like almost spawned on top of me. Like where these dudes spawn is random, where the sweet spawn is random. Yeah, they literally can spawn on top of you at the very beginning, apparently. The enemies are so aggressive. And there's Mr. Saturn there. We can't get seen by Mr. Saturn, or else he gets epic mad. Yeah, later, later, put in the game Earthbound. Might might know that game. I've heard of that game. Mother two. I know. I guess that's one suite I'm never gonna get. So one just yeah. caught on a, a thing here. One. All right, almost done. I'm just gonna run to the, towards the last one, regardless if if Mr. Sand's watching. Mm. Yeah, you got three hearts to work with. So. I can see him kind of getting epic mad in the background, but doesn't matter. Really, two hearts to work with. Yeah. What happened? Did it just reach in and swat you or something? Uh, nukes fall from the ceiling. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. And you have to dodge them. I'm not sure what they are exactly. They're like some kind of weird battery thing that explodes. I'm not really sure. They look weird, regardless. Yeah. Alright, now you're going to see the power of what is called the Bismarck slide and the power of becoming small. As we go and get this yeah. item, we're supposed to get much later in the game. It's a little bit faster to get it now. Yeah, these are pretty difficult. Um, they're spacing dependent. You have to be away from the wall a certain distance. Um, you have to jump, and then you get to flick your stick in any direction for one frame, and then press the uh, C up to actually switch back. And then while you're doing that, you can actually move. And then while you're moving and transforming, you can go through walls, and then you can zip up. Yeah, I don't think anyone actually knows uh, the exact mechanics of why the Abyss Mario slide works and why it sometimes doesn't work. But, um, I seem to have, like, a, a setup for every single slide. It kind of works for me. I don't think most people have setups or even bother with that. But we'll see what happens throughout the course of the run. The slide is the main glitch. It's, like, your main method of uh, getting places now that you have it. And it allows us to skip large majorities of uh, dungeons and just segments of the game in general. I forgot the old map glitch here, which saves a few frames. I always forget to do that. It's alright. Yeah, I get the cucumber from that guy, which we won't use for quite a while. But... Hey, you got it. You actually have to become small to uh, get in this area. And that slide's optional, but it's a little bit faster, because you want to become uh, full size to move faster. You might as well do a slide if you can do that. Yeah, so far slides are looking pretty good, so I think we're doing oh well. Oh my too. god, I just got owned! I don't even know what to do uh, with this happens. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let me see how well I know the game, which is not very well at all. Hmm. Let's so go let's, back out. Let's go down. here. Yeah, there you this go. This looks like a good area to be. <laughs> That's why you Mac glitch. Yeah, if you, hold, you can hold Mac glitch in this area, but it's hard for me to do slides. While holding map glitch, because you have to hold C right and then like hit C up while flicking your stick correctly. It's too too tough for me. And instead I got to go and pay the ultimate price of having to figure out where to go. Anyways, now we're ghost toy uh swing fire Rio. Open the store. And quite a few slides coming up here. Yeah, these ones are coming up are all pretty tough. Just gonna turn on this crane. We skip the cat. Most important thing of all. Can be skipper. Can be skipper, dude. Crane is deceptively difficult. It is, yeah, I was like nervous. But only for me. No, it's hard for me too. Uh oh, made it, made it. Right. And you're kind of on a time limit here to get in there and get the camera. Yeah, if you or, don't get uh, the camera, 
the crane will lift it up, and then you have to like do a much slower route. So that's why I was possible to soft lock there too. So yeah, if, you, if the crane misses the camera and you grab the camera, then you'll just keep grabbing the camera forever. It looks really funny, but it also kills your run. I really just like this slide. Yeah, this one in particular. That sucks. one actually didn't waste any time because you have to wait for this to happen anyway, which is getting the camera. You can actually leave as soon as you see the third line of text on getting the camera. I don't think most people know that. Right there, looks like I didn't get it, but I did. This is one of the toughest slides in the game right here. This is out of bounds slide. You've probably seen me fail this a few times. Ah, nice, second try. Because there's no floor, there's no real indication where to stand. I probably didn't need that second Rio pop, I just want to make sure my money's absolutely good for this run. And Ghost Toys is the hardest dungeon in the game, or in the run I should say. I think that's pretty much universally agreed, up, agreed upon. Here you can map glitch because this door doesn't like open and close shut, so it's just like a regular door. You just do that. Slide save a little bit of time. I'm actually going to grab... Cold Belts. It's Hoya Hoya? Hoya Hoya. It's not optimal to grab either of those healths, but I wanted to make sure I don't uh, mess up the death warp. Yeah, plenty of leniency. It's a good kill. Oh, that's why you need the camera, by the way. The camera makes uh, invisible enemies visible. Oh, I just I have way too much health now. I didn't want that last one. Right, let's just uh, get hit a few times. Undo the uh, health we just got. But obviously the camera's a required item. It's also required to beat the boss of this dungeon. Alright, this is gonna be the first death warp, hopefully. I'm not gonna map glitch here, I'm just going to swim across the poison. And I'm gonna have to do a water slide, which is a little bit easier than a regular slide, because it doesn't require a one-frame input. But, you can still mess it up, and when you do, it looks, uh, really embarrassing. Yeah, they're pretty easy, so if you fail at Water Slide, it's only your own fault. Alright, that was really close, but, uh, in the end it was optimal, because we died right away. We got the key. If you're too close to the wall, you cannot transform back into regular Visamara, so that's why you heard the wah -wah. So, it's way too close. There's a lot of, uh, different routes for doing Ghost Toys, depending on how many slides you want to do. How risky you want to play it, etc. Where you take your death warps. Pretty tough dungeon in general. I've seen a lot of runs die in this dungeon. Yeah, it's pretty much the first it's Ben K that runs die on, then it's this dungeon. Then after that, it's not quite as bad. That was the health drop I was hoping for there. This is probably like the one area I really want to health drop, even in, like in an actual RTA, because I have to go through this area here. I'm going to have to take damage. Ideally you land on the rope so you don't take as much damage. And that'll bring me to lower health so I can do the second death warp, and also the final death warp. I really want to get this first try. Nice. As long as I don't epic choke on the jump ropes, we should be good. I do want to take a little bit of damage, but only enough to bring me to half a heart of health. So what's the deal with map glitching in this room again? I know you can do it on the way back, right? You can do it on the way back, but you have to enter the door in a specific way, and if you don't enter in a specific way, then the game will soft lock. And I'm actually not going to do it, I decided, just in case I mess it up. The only reason why you want to do map glitch in this room on the way back is so you can wall run on the right wall, which you can't do if there are jump ropes present. You just you can do it a little bit, but it's not as optimal. Now we don't have to worry about it. You don't want to open the door like that if you're gonna uh, map glitch. You want to like run into the corner of the door. Is the runner Japanese? I wish. Just JRT. All right. Next up is coming is the hardest kill all in the game, the billiards room. Oh yes. This looks amazing when done right, but it's so hard to do right. Like, seriously. Oh. I'm gaming, dude! I'm gonna get it! Yeah! Um, wow, wow, nice. Good so, 
I, you could probably PD off of this run at this rate. Probably, yeah. I don't know, the Ben K was kind of bad, but... I did have to grab the extra life for safety, which I'm not gonna, not gonna end up having to use. Unless I died to Surumi, it's also possible. Just got the final key, gonna make our way back, and then we'll be done with the dungeon. You get like a 119, like high 119? I, yeah, I had one of the highest 119s you can get, it was like 56 or so. Yeah, this is a pretty good ghost toy, actually. Now we're going to fight the boss of Ghost Toy Dungeon. We have to use a Bismar, at least to start, because he has the camera and the boss is a ghost. And we need the camera to reveal his secret weakness, which a sign outside the boss room uh, tells you to do. What could his secret weakness be? Let's find out. Ah, it was his heart. Just like Paper Mario. The tech for this boss is to try and get triple hits. On some of the phases, you can hit him three times when you're only supposed to hit him uh, twice per phase. Go for the second triple hit here. Ah, I didn't get it. That one's uh, definitely the hardest one to get. And most of the bosses in the game, you'll see uh, character swapping to Ye, because she's the one with the flute. Which you pretty much always use after boss, so. That was a pretty good fight. If you get the double triple, you can skip uh, like one phase. Most of the time, you'll just get one triple, though. At least for me. Alright, now we meet the leader of the uh, Peach Shogun Gang, or whatever they're called. It's Spring Breeze Dancing. He's a dramatic actor who wants to be center stage and is the center of attention. He wants everyone to look at him, and he wants Japan to be his stage. Pretty much the most evil villain you could possibly think of. Also, he always gets our name wrong. You can't uh, read it, but like he's calling uh, Goemon Fernandez. Which is definitely I thought it was Fernandez. Fernandez. laughing about, but I'm sure it's really funny. Alright, well that dungeon was cool. Now we're gonna go back to Odeo really fast by mashing A as hard as we can. I also notice Oedo. Oedo. Odeo. Same thing. And we're going to be going to Festival Village. See if I get the jump part too. I got it, dude. Here you're supposed to um do a Goemon's mini game, which turns him pretty literally Super Saiyan. Like his hair turns yellow, and he becomes really, really strong. Grab the map glitch. Whoops. Not a big deal. Yeah, stolen by Dragon Ball. Shamelessly ripped off. I guess the Rodeo in Odeo. Kind of like a health drop here, but it's not a huge deal if I don't get one. And in this tunnel, we're going to have to do another tricky slide. At least I have a lot of trouble with it. It's just uh, some slides in this game are much harder than others. I'm not exactly sure why. Even though I have a visual cue for this one, I'm not even sure if, like, if it helps or there's something else going on or what. 
Let's uh, put our ASMR like right here. That was if you actually get the slide. Oh, first try, nice. Pretty much first try. Quote unquote, yeah. Quote unquote, yeah. And yeah, if you, if you don't get the slide, that's kind of what it looks like most of the time. You'll like slide, or t but you'll slide like, I don't know, a millimeter and not go anywhere. And sometimes you just like jump up and down small, like a, an idiot. Looks really dumb, you're not going anywhere, but you're actually trying as hard as you can to get the trick. Right, this is a Festival Village, probably my favorite village in the game. And why is that? Uh, I like the snow aesthetic. I like the music. And I like that there's a trick you can do, which I don't actually do, which saves like one second. The Mokri slash in the second area. Oh, yeah. The little run wall or wall run slash thing. Yeah, I don't go for that. You sometimes get blocked by NPCs after you do it anyway. Alright, interesting section coming up. Here you're supposed to have, you're supposed to upgrade your weapons to destroy that thing, which is going to map glitch and jump up. And here is a very likely, well, not likely, but good opportunity for me to soft block right here. Okay, I got it. No. Jump yeah, this is fairly new tech, right? Yeah, I think I got it. All right, pretty good. If you slide, okay, so I guess I should explain the trick. The trick is you slide, and then you cancel your slide by pressing Z near a ladder, and that stores a super jump. And then you throw a Rio as going on, and that maintains your height, because otherwise you would just um, jump infinitely, and there's no way to slow yourself down. So you have to throw the Rio to maintain your height. And then you slide down the mountain, and then you go up here to talk to the witch, which is, the other reason why you have to grind money, because she's going to summon a guy. If you fail it, what it'll look like is you'll slide, and then you'll like get stuck on the ladder. And then he's just stuck forever, and then I would have had to reload. But if I didn't do that trick, I'd have to like go all the way around the mountain, and just climb up, and it's really slow. Yeah, as far as characters go in this game, they all move pretty much the same, as far as walking goes. Um, the actual attack animations are a little bit different for each person, so the, the hitbox, I think, is a bit different. Also, there's and different dialogue depending on uh, who you're who you're talking with. And Ye generally has, like, short dialogue. I know she has shortest dialogue in this cutscene, I believe. Yeah. I think um, Sasuke actually jumps higher, but you don't see Sasuke, so... Oh yeah, this is the fourth character in this game that you skip, skip completely. You probably uh, see him popping up in text boxes here, but yeah, we should skip him completely. Also, we just summoned the old man, he told us to uh, go get more miracle items, probably. And avenge his uh, porno magazines, which got blown up by the Peach, uh, Peach Gang. You know, standard stuff. Standard, yeah. Yeah, Sasuke's uh, main use in the in the casual play would be for this jump, uh, jump boots. Or is it just a jetpack? I forget. Super jump. Super jump. Yeah, it gets, gets high. gets high places. But we don't need him to get um, high because we just do the Bismarck slide to get high instead. Yeah, Bismarck slide into a wall, then jump to zip up, and then high. So, no problem. But sadly, yeah, in order to get Sasuke, you have to like go on this whole other little quest where you have to collect batteries and climb a tree and do SM64 platforming and stuff, so it's pretty rough. And it takes a long time, so no. Let's see if We're I can doing farm it. a health drop here. So I'm not gonna hold map glitch even though I can. Ah, uh, hello. I think a two and a half heart should be fine anyways. Unless I really blow it. Yeah, now we're on a quest to get the flippers. Which means we have to do Ye's mini game, where we uh, swim up a waterfall. We do that by mashing for your life! It's important to mash as hard as you can, just so you feel like you're doing something. Yeah, it actually really the mashing is pretty trivial for this mini game. And left side is totally safe. Yep, because enemies will never spawn left on the Japanese version. I believe they fixed that in English version. Anyways, now we have the flippers. Also known as a mermaid form. Yeah, mermaid form. You'll see it in a bit.
So we're going to summon our spirit dragon yet again and go back to Festival Village yet again as we head to the third dungeon of the game. I believe it's actually the fourth if you're playing casually. Sometimes I like to remix uh, the music by also jumping as well, in addition to the item swaps. Right, became a mermaid. Also got a little slide there. See, it's like almost no time, but you can uh, slide the same way you can with the Bismaro with the Ace transformation, but you can't use it to clip. You pretty much just use it there to get a little bit more uh, distance. There's two ways to swim here. You can swim by just holding B and pumping your mermaid, or you can uh, rapidly tap A to like swim gradually. You want to just pump like an SM64. To... Yeah, exactly. Just like SM64. You want to pump there because you have to pump to open the switch. Here's a trick that saves no time, but it looks cool. Get on top of the world, and it skips uh, having to swim around the other way. That's not at all required, but. Saves like maybe two, three seconds. Yeah, this dungeon come up's really cool too. It's probably my favorite dungeon. It's completely food themed. Like it's got all your favorites, like like ramen and chopsticks and miso soup and rice. Of course, the spike balls fish. coming directly at you. And of course, spike balls that get into your oh, I water. Getting on. I believe the spike balls are random, but I'm not sure. Sometimes they can own you. We are going to do a slide here. I'm going to do a. Um, a pretty safe slide that'll probably fail a few times because I don't normally do this one. But I have uh, gone out of bounds incorrectly doing the normal version slide, and I don't want to do that. This slide. Are there a... any burgers? I don't think so. There's crab though. You feel like crab. How long will I get punished for doing this slide? Yeah, this is one you probably haven't practiced much, so... That was, uh, still decent. By the way, get to the same area you want to go to, which is over here. We can do a water slide, which is much easier. Hoya Hoya? Hoya Hoya. We're gonna switch to going one, actually, just for the Fire Rio, because if you don't have the Fire Rio here, uh, it'll just, like, knock these, down, these guys down, and it's actually slower. Just, oh my god, did it happen again? Is it happening again? What is this? Where it's is It's happening he? again! Why does this happen? This only happens to me! I despawn the guy! <laughs> Why? What you, am I you doing? Despawn the second guy again. Great you job. You need to kill two hurt. enemies to get the key, and that, I've only ever seen that happen to me. It yeah, the, the, way, the way this game works is that you have to kill a certain number of enemies, not just kill all the enemies. So if there's only one enemy to kill, not two, it won't give you the key. So. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah. until, until the first chopstick walk. These chopstick walks are probably the uh, hardest platforming in the run. Fortunately, oh, apparently, apparently, apparently he goes out of bounds. That's what's going on. He, goes he out falls of out of bounds. bounds. That's amazing. What a, what a guy. What the hell? Apparently it is a thing. Interesting. Well, I've never seen it happen to anyone. Yeah. And I saw it happening to this is the second time second in the past, time. past week. So you gotta, you gotta fix that. I don't know. You yeah. gotta figure that out. You gotta figure that out. Here's the... Maybe, maybe you need to go out of bounds with him. You know? Out of bounds with him. Oh my god. I'm probably gonna go for this one more time if I don't get it. I'm just gonna take the natural route. This chopstick walk is uh, tough. You have to send your camera correctly. And you really have to... Have a steady hand as you walk across. Alright, that was good. That's what you want to see. Even second try is not bad, honestly. Switch to yeah on this elevator, because again, we'll need her after we kill the boss to flute out and waste no time to swap on elevators. 
That's a gourmet sub. And now, will you get the tech skip? There's actually a two, technically three tech skips you can go for here. The first one's right there, but if you go for that one, you cannot progress with the game, which I did not learn until uh, like a few weeks ago. But I will go for the second and third one. Yeah, some of them are required for story triggers. Some of them are required for getting items. I didn't get the second one. And some of them just save time. Yeah, certain tech skips, if you do them, as with many other things in this game, will just soft lock the game. Oh, too early. Let's see if I can get it on the second try. Nope. Yes, she has the classic Ojo Sama. The left. Also stolen by anime everywhere since this game was released. And now it's time for uh, the legendary section. If you know anything at all about this game, you probably know about what's coming up next. That's right, we have to summon our robot friend, Impact. With your magical conch. Which we didn't thing. actually get throughout the course of the game, we just skipped the place we're supposed to get it. Send into the gigantic robots and become one with Impact. But first, let's learn about how Impact is so great and gorgeous. いかせ。ブレックダウン。ウォルリアツラボブチカワセ。ヒサツヒサツゲンカパワダヘクレツポンチ。オレワゴージャスアインパクト。I hope that was it. That was in time. I have direction. no idea if that was synced or not. But it was beautiful. I'm like beautiful. Back to you right. right now. I'm just so moved. So impact impact uh, section is great because you destroy everything. You destroy everything. Once you learn about how great he is, he just destroys all of Japan for a little bit. This is the power up for impact. Uh, gives him more health. It gives him a uh, Rio to shoot. We're shooting right now. Just for fun. We don't need a uh, health or Rio for the actual boss fight. You'll see why soon. Although we will need a uh, Rio for the final impact fight. This is uh, mostly an auto scroller. I'm pretty sure it uh, wastes time though if you like get caught on the uh, trip wire and fall down. So I'm gonna try and jump over that. On that, we're just uh, going nuts. Yeah, don't fall down because you need to hold up to go fast. And when you fall down, you don't go fast. So yeah. This is basically what sold me on the game, this robot right here. <laughs> Alright, now I must fight the mighty fish boss. I don't know his real name, but... He's a jerk, we gotta beat him up. Fish Chan, I don't know. Number two. Do a setup here, do you grab him right away? Work as it always does. I had to concentrate for a little bit there, but this is the primary method of uh, defeating bosses with impact. It's the Aura Aura spam, the uh, Punch mm. Barrage, this is why it's called Gogo's Bizarre Adventure. That is yep, the Gogo's Bizarre Adventure. Him. Just, you have to input a special command to do that, which is not easy. You'll probably see me drop it a few times. It's easy, but not easy, because there's a long delay between each time you have to do the actual command. So, like, you're waiting there a good five seconds. For it to end, like four or five seconds. 
That's I think that was the first time I actually got a perfect impact uh, fight and run. Uh, yeah, that was actually perfect. And you want to finish him off with a laser because uh, laser does 400 damage, the aura aura does 210. But you can't just spam the laser, it has to like charge up, so you usually use it as a finisher for bosses. Uh, the special command for the aura aura is just up down up on the scene, right? It's C up, C down, C up, and then A. Yeah. And then for the laser, it's C up, C right, C down, C left, and then Z. Oh, it's Tai Samba. There you go. I'm actually holding um, map glitch here to skip a cutscene. I'm actually going to skip it on the way back here when I revisit this area. We're going to Zazen. Failed to blink again. Yeah, Goemon, or uh, Impact normally shows up after the fact and says he has a movie to make off in France or something. Yeah. So. You'll see a little bit of that cutscene uh, towards the end of the game. God, this dragon takes so long. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, the point of the gourmet sub was to get a miracle item. We actually didn't get a miracle item. Uh, when we talked to the dude at the end of the dungeon, he's like, Oh, I dropped it somewhere in Zazen Town. So, I guess you can go get it if you want. So that's what we're gonna go do. So we have to go talk to the collector of Zazen Town, which... Turns out is actually our good friend Benkei. We skipped uh, a while ago. Somewhat fast. Not really fast, but somewhat fast. So we're talking about the miracle item, uh, apparently he doesn't have it either, so we have to talk to a collector that has a collection even bigger than he does. I wonder who that could be. Yeah, I believe Benkei is like a actual yeah. mythical guy, like, know, like from real stories from Japan, I forget what his deal is. Speaking of mythical characters from Japan, here's the biggest collector. It's the Kappa! He has the uh, Miracle Snow for us, and that's why we had to get the quality cucumber. He exchanges it for the Miracle item. This is why we spent an, a minute and a half at the beginning farming Rio. Yep, this guy wants a, wants a cucumber he had to pay $800 for, so, you know. World's finest cucumber. Yep. Hope he enjoys yeah. it. Yeah, I know. Yep. And playing this casually, that is, is like, wow. I had yeah. to farm $800, <laughs> come on. I had to farm on. for like 10 minutes in our race, and I did it in a really bad spot too. I did it in this spot right here, where you have to blow up the walls to get the pots and stuff. But... Way better than the spot I did it in, that's for sure. Alright, another slide here, and I'm going to option select this one. Nice. So, you don't really need height to like get over the cliff, but sometimes you can like go through the wall, and that's a little bit faster. Open the door from that way. And now there's like nothing at all to do except run to the next dungeon. It's the run your Abyssamara section. This is where you like really want to show off your remixes with the item swapping and jumping maybe. But uh, this is a perfect spot to read donations if we have any. Yeah, we haven't really. You gotta donate more. You gotta get that fire Rio. Come on, guys. Get the fire Rio, exactly. I am map glitching in this area, but it's not required. In fact, I don't even think it like makes the game lag any less, but you do it just because it's fun. As far as donations do go, we haven't had anything since Rambling Josh, so uh, let's get those in, guys. Let's get them in. Come on, we want to see those stars at... Well, we already will see those stars at uh, AGQ, but we want more, 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 more. Let's see those don donations come in. Oh god, the suffering. I think it's a pretty good remix I got going on. Oh, this must be, uh... Bersentia. Coming in. Oh, yeah, look Tusa at that. Grande. Which I am going to be participating in at some point. I don't know when, but there's a lot of people who sign up for Tuso Grande, which is like a bad games tournament. Which runs over the course of approximately two years. Really? That's my guess. Oh, okay. I think the last one ran like about a year. <laughs> it's because of scheduling and all these events and stuff going on. Because they, they actually stream every single match, so it kind of takes a long time. I, I believe someone actually got pregnant and had a baby during the course of the last one. So that kind of goes to show how long it can take. Sounds real. 
Anyways, we've made it to Festival Temple, the second to last dungeon in the game. Uh, this is like the puzzle dungeon, if you're playing this game casually. Yeah, this one's pretty long, but the actual speedrun dungeon of this isn't too bad. It's actually one of the shorter dungeons. Yeah. Yo, nice. Yeah, didn't have camera equipped when I went for that this time. Yeah. Yeah, normally you can, well, depends on what you, how you want to do it, but you can actually slide across that gap, which is the safer strat, but it can take longer because you actually have to get the slide set up and then you actually have to do it. Um, but if you just jump and slash the correct time, it's not too bad. But if you fall, then it kind of sucks. So, kind of up to you how you want to do it. And you're skipping a lot of this dungeon uh, in the speedrun, like a lot of it. It's uh, very non-linear if you're just uh, trying to play casually. Like, I had no idea where to go. But pretty straightforward. Next room after this is the uh, the elevator room, which is uh, probably the most famous room in this dungeon. Uh, there's a faster strat you can do where you do a hover, but I'm uh, kind of afraid of it. I'm not, I didn't really like, practice it too much. So I'm just going to do the uh, normal method. But yeah, what nice. you can do is you can like slide off of the... Uh, elevator right there, onto the ladder, and then do a hover similar to what you did at uh, the mountain area. Is it possible to hit that cycle like before this cycle? Like It almost looks like you can. Like, no, do you it, like, can't. Perfect. It's like a completely frame impossible, Tass can't do it. Well, Tass... Uh, well, ta well, Tass does Yeah, well, never mind. It's kind of irrelevant that anyways, because you can just make it by doing a slide, and that's going to be the awful method. You, like, you can uh, slide with the Bissamaro, then you hover, and then you like get caught in the roof here, and then you go down. It's really cool looking, but we're not going to do that. So I'm just going to describe what it could have been like. You can just picture that in your head, what the real strat looks like. And with that, we're at the boss. Yeah. This, this is, boss sucks. This is the hardest boss in the run, in my opinion. You have to do a slide to get in there, and it's really hard to see your Abyssamaro. So, like, even getting the slide is hard. And even once you get up there, like, sometimes Surumi's height is, like, weird, and you can't even hit him. Yeah, his height's kind of random, and you can't see anything to get the slide. Like, look at look at your screen right now. That's, like, I don't know, it's six them. pixels? Get them up here. Uh oh. Now we gotta hit him. Eventually, we'll, we'll hit him. Okay, that's good. Good first step. Now he's lower to the ground. Good. I'll explain a bit more about the spots after I beat him. Uh, it could have been worse, yeah. So, the way you're supposed to beat that boss is obviously you don't slide up to him. You uh, stay on the ground, you reflect the shots back at him, just like Phantom Ganon and Ocarina at a time. But what you do here is you slide up, and you hit him with two regular attacks, and then you hit him with three Fire Rio. Fire Rio does more damage. And you can defeat him very, very quickly. Which is pretty cool, because otherwise the boss would be really boring. Because you just like have to dodge Don Maku, and then you'd have to reflect the shots back. It's not as interesting. It's also possible to softlock that boss if you, I think, you overflow. It's or underflow overflow or, or underflow his HP by like damaging him incorrectly. Yeah, that's great. You can yeah. like save it by dying or like sliding out of the room, but... I think I got it. I want to say I got it. I didn't get it! Wow. No. I have one more tech skip to try and go for, which is the big one. Oh, this is the other uh, antagonist of the game, Kitty Lily. She also wants to be uh, center stage as a beautiful actress on the Western show in Japan. So she's self-centered, uh, egotistical. Only cares about herself, etc. She's telling us uh, how much she looks down upon us. Oh, and yeah, she has the the Karina, the classic. And she fades away. We will not save the game. Good choice. Thank you. 
I run at like a decent pace. I think we're set to finish at like mid 120s or so. Which is well below estimate. Of like, I think my estimate is 135, so hopefully I'll help get the uh, marathon back on track. So we're gonna get to see impact for like a split second. Yeah, and then next screen. Now we have all the miracle items, now we can go to the final place, which is gonna be Musical Castle, where Spring Breeze dancing and Kitty Lily uh, and the uh, rest of the gang hide out. And all the gang members, which is the same guy except different colors. Exactly. So here I'm holding map glitch. I'm gonna have to walk into the door and then release map glitch because I need to load the door. I have to do it in such a way that I don't re trigger the impact cutscene. And I failed it. So you can watch this cutscene. Oh, perfect. Nice. It's only like uh, 15 seconds, though. I must go back to France, finish my movie, by blowing up other giant robots. Let's not save again. And not save again. Well, we watched that cutscene and don't save the game. DCX did donate $20. Shout out to the Gomon boy. Ooh, the legend, dude. World record holder for this game. Mm. Nice. Yeah, this guy's been talking in chat a lot about stuff that we don't know about, but he does, because we've... Well, you've been running the game a couple months. I have, like, learned the route, but that's literally it. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I still don't know that much about the game. I'm, like, kind of okay at slides, and apparently that's all you need. All we need is 70 cents, and we've hit $4,000. Wow. 70 cents. We need that 70 cents. Remember, any uh, donations since we have met our goal, any more donations will go towards Medecins Sans Frontier, always a worthy charity. Oh, for sure. And yeah, this dungeon uh, is pretty interesting. This is pretty much Abyssamaru's house. It's all slides. I'm just gonna flip into the wall and jump up. If we didn't do that, we'd have to like walk all the way around the platform, it's really slow. Get a key, then use a key. We'll be a recurring theme of this dungeon, is get key, use key. Yeah, we got we got legendary Shadow the Ninja speedrunner Blucky on the mic. And we got myself, which is LCC, and we have Claude running the game. All for your amusement. Zip up the ladder. Give it to me, give it to me. There we go. Those ladder zips are a little bit finicky. It's the same principle as uh, Ben Case Skip, where you just want to get like stuck in the ladder. Except you're actually using it for the zip property. Slides are not behaving. I understand. I swear, this one you gotta get a first try or you just sit there for 20. There's a lot of slides like that in this game. I could try to reload in the room. I don't think it actually does anything. It might though. Whatever, man. Sometimes the slides work, sometimes they don't. Oh my god. I messed up. Please make it! No! Alright, I made a mistake there because I was on tilt from last room because. Uh, the fans are on a cycle, and if you're not, like, heading directly towards the fans uh, when you enter the room, then you're not going to make the jump. I'll pay attention this time. Much better. This next uh, slide is interesting. You're just going to use this to get, like, stuck in a wall. You can jump out of bounds, but you have to, like, jump out of bounds correctly. Good. You can't trigger that door, otherwise you have to do it all over again. That was a pretty good uh, section right there. 
life like water right there too. Yeah. If you're not jumping, it pushes you backwards, so you have to jump. Decent, except for that uh, one slide, pretty much. Now we're outside in the hedge maze. Very complicated maze. Here's how we're gonna solve it. Our slides are almost over. Yep, we have one more left after this. Right. Still in the hedge in our way, so let's just walk through it. Yeah, you just kind of go to the left and you kind of just clip through the corner. And here is one of the best tracks in the game right here. Yeah, this song's awesome. They get all the dancing legs at the start. You can go through that painting like SM64 if you want to to get a hidden uh, cat. Right, that was the last slide in the game. Pretty good slides overall, some mishaps, but uh, it was acceptable. I would say it did pretty well. <laughs> what a health drop. You don't want to get tagged by the roses there, because they like kind of slow you down and take continuous damage. Here you can skip a, a phase there, I guess like a cycle, by doing a uh, somewhat tricky jump and then just like walking across the floor without falling into the pit. I don't think we mentioned it, but there are hard landings in this game. You might have seen one or two of them where if you fall from a certain height, you'll actually get a hard landing and kind of sit there for two seconds. But You'll see every time he's about to land, he swings, and then that cancels that, so... Oh, maybe, maybe! Oh, uh, you might have got it! Yeah, we got it! Oh, uh, baby! Best, the biggest time save tech skip in the game. That... I made up for all of it. Stuff. No, I'm not doing mini on that cutscene. Oh yeah, it's uh, time for the opera. Skipped a lot of text there. That's like 20 seconds worth of text. Yep. Just my, my stage! It's all the singing you get out of me. I'm not saying impact again, sorry. Yeah, it was a one time deal, sorry. One time. One time. Everyone gets one. Oh, yeah, the entire point of that section was because the antagonists of the game wanted to make us die hard fans so that it, we don't beat them up. And going on and Kurt just like, why, why did they do that? What was the point? Well, Ibisamaru actually is their fan now. Okay, he was like, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Let's not beat him up. It's like, no, no. They're blowing up the castle. They're going to blow up the city. Let's summon our giant robot and beat him up. Goemon always has to be the rational one. It actually forces you into being Goemon here just for this cutscene. Like, you can see that we end it with Abyssamaru, but you just, like, change back to Goemon anyways for the final cutscene. Dash, dash, dash! Alright, enjoy it without the cup aim. Dash, dash! You can move uh, going on or impacts head up and down there. You can spin around too, it's great. Yeah, I don't like spinning though. Yeah, do a little head bob, it's fine. And of course, now that for this section, we do need a very specific number of coins. Yeah, we're trying to go for the for boss. Not, not doing too well. Let's hold down. Ooh, well, that's okay. Just as long as you get the right number of coins for the boss, because you can definitely run out. Um, 
And if you run out, it's really bad. So you just want to get at least, well, no more or no fewer than 420 coins. That's, that's the goal. That's uh, not looking good. Usually when you get uh, 420 Rio, you don't fall down at all. But maybe it's possible. I was mashing my life trying to like get rid of Rio, but it's but not enough. <laughs> Fifteen too many, man. Fifteen too many. That's too good at the mini game. Alright, final boss series. Part one is uh the battleship. Do this, uh, beat this boss optimally, you have to mash for your life, so let's do that. Yeah, this boss, unlike the other impact fights, are this one's arranged only. So you're not going to be doing aura auras or any of that, you're just going to be shooting lots of coins. Alright, you have to defeat all these little battleships for the thing to open up back, back up again. Laser? Use the laser? Oh, I didn't get the laser? Ugh. Are you serious? I didn't get, I didn't, like, I refused to, to use it. Alright, we're gonna go for a ride here. <sighs> interesting. That's an interesting way to it's all right. mess it up. Go for a ride, beat this thing up. Yeah, now you get to see the other spots, like the, the leaf that shoots, uh, Love the leaf. kitty balls. Uh, getting the laser. Second try is hard for me. Use the laser. All right, we got it. We got it. It was fine. It was fine. Okay. It wouldn't come out, dude. It's doing the doing the buttons. There's actually a lot of ways to do that fight. So I do it a little bit differently. It's supposed to increase consistency, which it would have worked if I'd actually gotten the laser out. All right, time for the final guy. Spring Breeze dancing his giant robot. Now this guy is just get him in the infinite and keep him there. That's the goal. Can't grab him there, I don't think. So brutal. So brutal. Can I get the laser? Alright, perfect uh, Detoli at least. Leave his name. That was good. That was really good, yeah. Hit him with the Aurora. With that, the final boss is dead. Timing was actually going to come up in like a minute from now. It's going to be when this uh, screen fully fades to white. I'll let you know when it's about to happen. But first, he has to give his uh, dying speech. He's basically saying that no matter what happens, I'll still become a giant star, and you can't stop the instant stage beam to turn Japan into a giant musical. Listen to me, Fernandez. There's nothing you can do, etc., etc., etc. Goemon's basically having none of it. He says, shut up. I'm about to blow your ass to the stars. My name's not Fernandez, it's Goemon. Get him, Impact. Alright, time is coming up uh, very soon. Timing stops. Now, now. Uh, one hour, 22, and nine seconds. Oh, that's pretty good, yeah. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Quite a bit underestimate, but that's what I expected. When I submit, nice. submitted this game for JRT, I wasn't very good at the game, but I've since improved a little bit. 
And in the end, the bosses, uh, they did become giant stars, but literal stars, not acting stars. Oh, there's Sasuke. Oh yeah, there he is. We never used him at all in the run, but there he is. Now we we'll return to Japan in one piece in our giant robots. Fly off impact, fly off. Yeah, the ending sequence is pretty good, but I know we're behind, so uh, we can uh, just go ahead and cut whenever you're ready. Yeah, I think we're behind schedule here, so we're actually just going to go on to the next game. Alright, yeah, sounds good to me. Thank you uh, very much for having me. I had a lot of fun. I'm glad I was able to show off this game. I really like this game, actually, even though I've only been running it for a few months. And thank you very much to LCC for commentating with me. Yeah, no problem, man. This game yeah, is awesome. Being part of the event, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, always a pleasure. But yeah, cut whenever. Alright, have a good rest of your weekend. We'll see you around. Yeah, thank you very much. I'll be watching the rest of the marathon. Same. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, they can't hear you. Hold on. Alright, we're setting up for uh, Moon Crystal right now. So, bear with me while I set up.